हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर लेट्स रिवाइज अबाउट अ वैलेंस बॉन्ड थियरी वैलेंस बॉन्ड थियरी इन शॉर्ट वी बी टी ओके विल टेक वन क्वेश्चन विल टेक वन क्वेश्चन एंड डायरेक्टली सॉल्व दिस सो क्वेश्चन आस्क इज राइट हियर डिस्क्राइब डिस्क्राइब शेप शेप मैग्नेटिक बिहेवियर मैग्नेटिक बिहेवियर एंड हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एंड हाइब्रिडाइजेशन हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कॉम्प्लेक्स Now the thing is, uh, okay, complex is this nickel CN four two minus. See, before we solve this question, uh, you should know certain tricks. Like when coordination number in your syllabus, there are only two things: one with a compound with a coordination number six, and other is a coordination number four. So whenever a coordination number is four, there are two possibility. There are two possibility for the shape. and the hybridization so hybridization i'll write there are two possibility hybridization remember this one this will help you lot one possibility of the hybridization is it could be sp3 and other could be dsp2 when coordination number 4 so structure or a shape we write when if you are getting a hybridization to be sp3 then it is tetrahedral tetra hedral and if you are getting dsp2 then it is square planar square planar understand this so this is the thing which you should know now if coordination number is 6 when coordination number is equal to 6 right there are hybridization possible hybridizations possible are one is d2 sp3 and other is sp3 d2 okay and what would be a shape doesn't matter whether it is d2 sp3 or sp3 d2 the shape will be octahedral only always understand this so when coordination number is 6 this is the thing which you should know right now over here question is asked for this you need to know about a shape magnetic behavior and hybridization right one more thing we should know like whenever there is a strong field ligand okay when strong field ligand strong field ligands connected then pairing takes place pairing takes place mostly um in case of in in place of strong field ligand Uh, it is not very correct to generalize this because uh, that a uh, strong field ligand pairing takes place and it will be diamagnetic but in most of the cases they will be diamagnetic okay and in weak field ligand weak field ligand weak field ligand pairing does not take place pairing does not take place right so these are the things you should know before you understand the this concept okay so now strong field weak field again you will be learning from the crystal field theory a spectrochemical series where the order of the all the ligands are written from weak field from strong field to weak field or from weak field to a, a strong field increasing or decreasing order any one you should know so that you can figure out uh, what could be the ligand field or a field strength okay now coming back to this question question ask is we need to know about a uh, magnetic behavior okay hybridization and shape of the complex so we need to apply a valence bond theory valence bond theory means what uh, will write electronic configuration of the nickel iron cobalt nickel so nickel is what how much like when we write nickel's atomic number right sometime it will be given to you sometime 
it will be not given to you right so nickel is 28 right nickel's z value is 28 so nickel's configuration is how much nickel's configuration is 4s2 3d8 this is the nickel's electronic configuration now over here if you see nickel is in what oxidation state nickel is in what oxidation state we can find this oxidation state of nickel in this complex this is the first thing you are going to do Nic oxidation state of nickel in this complex cn4 2 minus so this is x plus 4 into minus 1 is equal to minus 2 x minus 4 minus 2 x is equal to minus 2 plus 4 x is equal to plus 2 means nickel over here in what oxidation state nickel is in plus 2 oxidation state so what would be the electronic configuration when you are removing the electron from which where you are going to remove the electron it is 4s is the outermost 3 is inside third shell this is in the fourth shell so you are going to remove the outermost electron so this will be what 4s0 3d8 this is what the electronic configuration so when we write nickel 2 plus nickel 2 plus its electronic configuration will be like when we write we write third shell inside like third shell d is inside so i'm writing this inside in third shell right there are eight electron one two three four five six seven and eight right same you can also follow like you first write nickel then write in same way nickel two plus you can do that we also know issue after 3d what opens is fourth shell that is 4s then 4p right now nickel 2 plus in ni cn 4 2 minus so since this is a strong field ligand since this is a strong field ligand what will happen pairing is going to take place right pairing is going to take place so over here 1 2 3 4 all the elect 8 electrons would be fitted over here and let's say now these are the cross electron i'm putting this cross just to show that electrons are from the cyanide see in a coordinate covalent bond this is a central metal m and there is a coordinate covalent bond let's say this is over here from the cyanide so here both the electrons are from the cyanide so this both the electrons are from what cn minus how many are there ligands there are four ligands so two will go over here and two will go over here so this is from cyanide this is from cyanide and this is from cyanide so what is the hybridization what is the hybridization if you see this that is there is one orbital of the d there is one orbital of the d one orbital of the s s is always one and there are two orbitals of the p dsp2 so you got this hybridization so i'll clean that part and we'll write that so what is the hybridization 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 is dsp2 if hybridization is dsp2 then what is the shape i told you before it is square planar it is square planar okay and what is the magnetic behavior if you see there are none uh, there is not a single unpaired electron all the electrons are paired right none of the electron is paired so magnetic behavior will be what magnetic behavior is diamagnetic simple one more example we'll do next question is using valence bond theory again similar question we'll do using valence bond theory predict predict geometry shape one and same geometry hybridization hybridization then and magnetic behavior magnetic behavior of what 
of the cobalt F6 2 minus. One answer is ready. That is geometry or a shape. Since coordination number is 6, it is octahedral. But you need to get a hybridization and a magnetic behavior. Because hybridization, there are two possibilities. One is D2 sp3, D2 sp3 and other is sp3 D2. This is what? Inner orbital complex. This is called as inner orbital complex. Remember, this is called as inner orbital complex. And this is called as a outer orbital complex. Outer orbital complex. The question may be this way also. Tell, uh, write whether the given complex is inner orbital or our outer orbital complex. So, if it is D2 sp3, inner orbital complex and sp3 D2, then outer orbital complex. It is that simple. So, let's write. So, what we need? Uh, electronic configuration of the cobalt. Cobalt. Ion cobalt. So, Z is equal to how much for this? 27. Z is equal to 27. Right? So, here, what is the electronic configuration of the cobalt? Therefore, cobalt's electronic configuration is 4s2, 3d7. Right? Now, what is the oxidation state of a cobalt over here? I will put that x cobalt, uh, 6 into fluorine is minus 1, which is equal to minus 2. Therefore, x is equal to how much? x is equal to minus 2 plus 6, x is equal to plus 4. Means, therefore, therefore, cobalt is in plus 2 oxidation state. Now, what is the configuration of the cobalt in plus 2 oxidation state? We write it this way. I uh, will clean that part. Uh, cobalt in a plus 2 oxidation state would be written as uh, 2 electrons, sorry, plus 4, no, yes. Plus 4. Your total, you are going to remove 4 electrons. 2 from here and 2 from here. So, this is 4s0, 3d5. Right? Your configuration is this. So, whenever you are writing cobalt 2 plus, right, uh, its configuration will be what? 3d is inside. So, I am writing third shell 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in cobalt 2 plus. After 3d, it is fourth shell we are opening, it is 4p, sorry, 4s, then 4p, 1, 2, 3, right? So, cobalt 2 plus in CO F6 2 minus. Now, tell me what is cyanide? Cyanide is a strong field ligand. Sorry, fluorine. I mean, fluorine is a weak field ligand. Yes, this is fluorine is a weak field ligand. So, what will happen? Pairing is not going to take place. Right? So, we will write the electrons as it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? 4p, 4d. Here we will open this because we will require these orbitals d. So, how many ligands are there? There are 6 ligands. Coordinate bond means fluorine is only going to contribute both the electrons in that bonding. So, there is no space for this. No, There is no space over here to put both the electrons. So, 1, 2, 3rd, 4th and here there are 6, 6 ligands. So, what is this hybridization? What is this hybridization called? This hybridization is S, one orbital of S, S will always have one orbital, um, sp3 and here two orbitals of D, sp3, d2. So, this hybridization which was asked, what is the hybridization? Where shall I write? I will write here. Hybridization is sp3, d2. This is sp3, d2 hybridization. Then, um, what is asked? Geometry is asked. Uh, we know this. We always know this. Geometry is octahedral only. Because there are six ligands. That is the maximum distance they can, they can stay apart when there are six ligands. That is octahedral geometry. Magnetic behavior. Magnetic behavior. You see, there are so many unpaired electrons. Even if there is one unpaired electron, it is paramagnetic. There are so many. So, this is paramagnetic. 
magnetic and from this hybridization although it is not asked uh, this is sp3d2 means what outer orbital complex if it is asked then you should write this outer orbital complex why d2 is outside outside the orbital is being filled in this hybrid edge okay so this question out of these two and this which one is paramagnetic more stable inner orbital complex and a high spin complex okay we'll do the illustrations over here i think this space will be enough for the illustrations of all this both the things and we'll write the answers over here in front of that only okay how much space yes so cobalt f6 right co f6 if you consider co f6 3 minus if you consider i'll do roughly because in details i have done a previous example so cobalt over here is in what oxidation state cobalt over here is in um, plus 3 oxidation state right so cobalt in oxidation state uh, it is uh, 4s0 3d6 right because cobalt's configuration is what cobalt is 4s2 3d7 so three electrons you remove two from here and one from here so cobalt three plus is d6 d6 means it is one two three four five six right it is a weak field ligand so pairing is not going to take place right so this is paramagnetic this is paramagnetic uh, this is 3d then 4s i'm just doing this roughly you can do it nicely on your book right then a filling of the like uh, orbital will start electrons from the ligands will start from here 4d so two of this so sp3d2 this hybrid addition is sp3d2 so first question is uh, uh, will not decide will solve this also cobalt en thrice 3 plus okay so over here this is neutral so cobalt itself is in plus 3 oxidation state again electronic configuration is same 4s0 3d6 of the cobalt papers so what i write 3d One, two, three, four, five, six, and this is four S, four P, and four D. I'm writing over here. Uh, en is what strong field ligand. Remember, En is strong field ligand. In a complex, it is going to pair up. So ligands are being filled from here. Three, four, five, and six ligands. So, what do we conclude from all these things? So, paramagnetic. Which complex is paramagnetic? CO, F six, three minus. This is paramagnetic. Which is most stable among this? How do we decide the stability? See, this is En is a diadentic ligand. It has the possibility. It 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 is having the capability to form a chelates right i discussed in one of the question previously chelates are more stable isn't it so over here this is a chelating a chelate complex this is non chelate complex so more stable is this co en3 3 plus inner orbital complex if you see the our, our hybridization of this will come to sp3 d2 and hybridization of this will come to what uh d2 sp3 d2 sp3 so this is inner orbital complex so inner orbital complex i am writing co en 3 thrice high spin complex high spin complex are the one in which ligand remember this high spin complex means means what ligands connected ligands connected should be should be weak field weak field okay and low spin complex low spin complex means ligand should be what ligand should be 
should be strong field remember this very easy right so i want high spin complex means weak field ligand it's opposite high weak strong low spin strong so high spin complex means weak field among this f6 is a f is a fluorine is a weak field ligand so answer is this is weak high spin complex so this is the illustration of this 